where the ISP received the notice from the rights holder and turns around and without telling the rights holder who actually is contravening their copyright sends a notice to the person or, or company or whatever that's transgressed. So there's no interaction between the, the original rights holder and the person who's supposedly done this. And it's not up to the ISP to enforce this. It's still a judicial thing. The rights holder still has to sue. They have to find out through another means or get a, a search warrant and, and com compel the ISP to divulge the information before that copyright violation or the putative copyright violation can be taken down. Or so if I put down. something up that's appeared so on my website. Yeah, if, if you post the, a song, for instance. The Canadian, the company or whoever it is says I'm in violation yep. would likely first write me and tell me to take they it They don't down. know who you are. Well, if you put it up on your website, but if you put it up on your personal computer, they don't know who you okay. are. Okay. So... But then if I don't respond, they can go to the ISP well, they and get a court order. They can't tell who you are unless the ISP tells them. It's not like a website. Website's a totally different problem because that you actually publish or the, the information on who owns a website is fairly obvious. But the information on who owns a computer or who is at the other end of a particular IP address block okay. that is a private citizen is not public information. It's owned and held by the ISP. It's part of their customer database. And it's not published out to the rest of the world. But you can trace that back from any email or something, can't you? No, not necessarily. Okay. Okay? And I, I say not necessarily. The answer is there's all sorts of ways of figuring it out. Okay. But, not, but, but not necessarily direct ways that are legitimate as far as the, the judicial system is concerned. Okay. Okay? But once, once a rights violation has been noticed, down in the States, the ISP is on the hook to do something about it. In Canada, they're not. Okay. But they want to change that. And they want to change it to the point where not only is it the publisher who finds these things and tells the ISP, they want the ISP to be responsible for finding it. So, the, so ISP. the ISP has to snoop what you're doing on your computer, and it's a privacy violation. Yep. Not good. Now you know why I'm upset. No. Yeah. You're upset you about upset. this. Well, you're upset about this the way I get upset about tax, the way Gary and I were talking yep. about early on yep. this program. What time is it? It is quarter two. Can we cut down and go for our chicken wings, or what are we doing? Wings? Well, I don't know. Yeah. What more have we got? We got we got a whole year to we talk could, more about. Yeah, we can talk more about it. Listen, we've done pretty well tonight. We've I've been talk we've been talking for two hours and forty five minutes. Yeah, with with half a glass of water. Yeah, I'm short of beer. All right, <laughs> we're going to call this quits. Ingram's getting tired, um, and uh, we'll be back next Wednesday. Uh, not next Wednesday we're going to do something in ICBC, but we're going to do the Wednesday after that. We're going to have uh, Jeff Fawcett here from Fawcett Insurance. And we're going to talk about insurance in general, the things that people need. Particularly we're going to be talking about BC because I got this letter from ICBC talking about all the cars I've got and who the principal driver is. And Jeff and I got an interesting concept this afternoon. He's on his way down to Phoenix, Arizona. Now, That's right. I think he's actually already there because his daughter is just moving into a new house. And we didn't have time today. to find out whether or not he was taking his laptop with him and his camera yeah, so yeah, we yeah. could do this over the And um, well, I was just going to make a comment to uh, the lady that emailed me this afternoon. I think she was going to be watched tonight. I don't know if she's watching, but hope the host deal works out for you in Phoenix as well. Ah. Everybody's down in Phoenix or Palm Springs or so, or Orlando, Florida. What the heck are we doing here? Well, I don't know why they're down there, because isn't it raining down there? We had a beautiful day today. Yes, it was a nice it day. It was yeah. gorgeous today. I just, I had so much to do, I couldn't get out on the Last motorcycle. year at this time, we had eight feet of snow out in front of this house, and yes. all my convertibles were sitting there with damaged tops and so on, because yep. Yep. I kept your, them all nice. Your tent out there collapsed. Yep. And this year, I uh, took the... Uh, I took all the convertibles, I parked them in the back, we put car covers and stuff on them and tried to protect them, etc. Well, even the one convertible I had under a tent, the tent collapsed and put a hole in the roof. So it would have, <laughs> We would have to have a temperature of something on the order of about minus 30 
in order for January not to be the warmest January on record. It's just an amazing thing. I mean, we've got, what, three days left? Yeah, we've only it's got 12 days, days to uh, the Olympics starting, That's which I'm right. not in for 14 days, I guess. And Aren't I'm, you glad that we work at home? I'm so glad I don't have to go downtown. And when you do, you can run around on a motorcycle if you want to. They, they still won't let me on the roads. <laughs> it doesn't well, matter. Well, There's no can, parking anyway. Well, you so. can get closer, etc. I don't want to go Mitchell, down there. Mitchell uh, parked over the other day and... Uh, thought his car had been impounded and we couldn't find it at Buster so I went down and we found it. Remember I talked about the lady I gave the I, the iMac to? Or oh the yeah. E yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was, uh, his, the car was parked directly in front of her apartment which was really funny, like 50 feet from where he got. Do you know what his excuse was for not seeing it? He didn't have a flag on it. He was and looking for the car with the flag on and it. And of course, all of our cars have even these. my my van's got a flag on it. It's got I know. That's why I recognize yeah, you hold it. Hold up one. Of the, it's, there's one down on the floor down there. You can hold it up. These, these are great flags. I love them. Yeah. Well, you can see them in the background yeah. here, and uh, we have. We don't flying. hate the United States. No, we, we love them. We have these flying from all our flags and all our vehicles and motorcycles and motorhomes and stuff, and we love them. That's us. Yeah, U.S. That's Canadian us. tax and. Uh, programs called Around the World, and uh, we have a new host uh, with us now, Richard Pitt, who th started the whole thing and has operated and made it go and comments all the time anyway. So You know why I want to be on this as a host? Everybody thinks I'm a techie. Everybody thinks that that's all I do, is sit behind the counter there and push the buttons, and that's a hobby. That's I do that stuff. Well, I mean, last night when we were over at the at the uh, studio, yeah, I mean, still studios, yeah. He he had a plug board there. I used to wire stuff like that. It was fun. I used to do that in the in the the, the film society club and the rad sock out at UBC. It wasn't something I was going in to do, you know, permanently. Um, I'm a business admin and and marketing person, and I like getting up and standing in front of people and talking. You know, well, just, look at Mitchell. He's almost a techie, and he's, uh, he's running. He's working in an himself. art in Rosemary Barron uh, yeah. Swingle's art gallery yeah. now, a couple of days a week, and uh, running the board for us here tonight, and doing U.S. Canada tax returns as well. That's right. So here's all my bike. I am out of here, guys. And running manhunt. And, and running, running manhunt. Man hunt That's right. We got to talk about manhunt. Running you your, manhunt you tomorrow. Come, uh, Why don't you turn this thing around and talk about what I'm manhunt just is? For anyone who's interested. Tomorrow Have you got a mic on? He's got a mic on his ear there. Turn your mic on. It's hanging, be hanging beside you. Okay, so on. talk about what's happening with Manhunt in Vancouver tomorrow. Uh, Turn anyone, the camera around so we can uh, see you. Uh, for anyone who's interested, 8 o'clock tomorrow at Grandview Park, show up, and there'll be a game of Manhunt, who will be presenting a game of Grounders. And where is Ma where's Grandview Park? At Grandview, Grandview and, uh, and... It's Commercial Drive. It's Commercial, commercial Drive? Grandview. Uh, commercial and Grant. 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 Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, I know where that three is. Three blocks north of First. Yeah. Right, and we know where that we'll be is. We're playing old kid games for fun, for fun. And you can look up and see what it is on Manhunt yeah. Vancouver. Yeah. Uh, uh, All right. Oh, no, here we go.